What's going on YouTube, GeoSnow right here, so in today's video I have some great news for those of you who have updated to iOS 11.2, 11.2.1 and 11.2.2 and are waiting for a jailbreak. And the news are coming from Coolstar, he says in here, quote, for anyone on iOS 11.2.x, stay there. Although a new exploit is required for iOS 11.2.x, most of the patches in Electra will work on 11.2. Point X. This brings a little bit of hope for those of you who have updated to iOS 11.2.x by mistake and you are not able to jailbreak by now because most of the jailbreak tools, in fact all of them, are compatible with iOS 11.1.2 or lower or you simply bought the device that came with iOS 11.2 or 11.2.1 or 11.2.2. Now he says in here that a new exploit is required, he means a kernel exploit. Well, we know that this has already been achieved um, a couple months back actually, in fact no, it was in uh, December, by Alibaba and their Pandora Labs. An article has been posted back then on Mode My Eye and on Trio Tools and, and it claims that Alibaba Alibaba Pandora Labs chill broke iOS 11.2 successfully back then. They even put a picture in there with Cydia and Pandora and they even got a panic lock. Now this is not certain whether this is real or not. Now uh, Free Tools is a real established company. I wouldn't see any point in lying to people about a jailbreak because they're not providing jailbreaks. Well they do provide uh, bundled jailbreaks and stuff like that but their tools are legit so I don't know why they they would tarnish their name with some fake jailbreak and at the same time uh, ModeMy uh, got the article and you know spread it but anyways what they cannot understand is how they got Cydia running or at least installing on iOS 11.2.x if the, um, the substrate and Cydia were not updated back then, they're not updated at this point in time, so they were clearly not updated back then. But maybe Cydia is just installed for show in there, it doesn't start, it's just in there, because many many people have demonstrated with the latest exploits on iOS 11.1.2 and 11.1 and lower, uh, the fact that Cydia can indeed be uh, installed using uh, Vortex exploit and so on, and these predates uh, Liber iOS and other jailbreaks, but uh, yeah, they got Cydia but it didn't start, so it might be the same thing in here. So yes, this has the possibility to be legit. But anyways, it's very important to understand that loopholes and bugs and uh, kernel vulnerabilities do exist in iOS 11.2 and it's definitely possible to find vulnerabilities in iOS 11.2, it's just a matter of time. So if you have indeed updated to iOS 11.2.x or 11.2, I come back to Coolstar's tweet in here, do not update since Electra, which is a jailbreak toolkit released by cool star for iOS 11.0 up to 11.1.2 might be compatible in the future if a kernel exploit is released um, after some you know work with iOS 11.2.1 and newer. So yeah, and in other news, Electra received an update, in fact two today, the beta 6 and beta 6.2. The beta 6 fixes quite a lot of things, load dropper as launch daemon and fix zombie process issue, set kernel task as host special port number 4 and add a working launch CTL for loading launch daemons thanks to null pixel. Then uh, Coolstar followed up with the um, beta 6 2, which fixes the kernel memory leak in entitlement injector. So if you were running the beta 5 or an older beta like the 4 or 3, go ahead and update the beta 6. For those of you who do not remember, Electra allows you currently on iOS 11.0 up to iOS 11.1.2 to use themes and install themes through Anemone, to install tweaks, quite a lot of tweaks actually including Barrel and so on. So yeah, it lacks Cydia but you can install tweaks and you can install themes so it's pretty much like a fully featured jailbreak for iOS 11.x but it just lacks Cydia. So yeah, that's a pretty pretty good information we've got from Coolstar in here that iOS 11.2.x might have a chance in the future. Now I'm going to link uh, Alibaba's article here again, even though I made a video about it back then, 
uh, it's still a good idea now to to take a look through it because it might prove useful in a future now i do not think pandora will release their exploit they did not release it to this point so i highly doubt they will release it uh, from this point on but we might get some help from google project zero again since um ian beer pretty much got us used to the fact that he is releasing quite a lot of vulnerabilities into the um, the public ground so we might get the same luck again so yeah it's a good idea to pay attention to what's going on and do not update further on so these are currently the ios 11.2.x firmware and they're currently signed i would definitely recommend you to not update uh, after this version, iOS 11.2.2, since cool start says in here to stay on iOS 11.2.x. So yes, if your device came with iOS 11.2.2.x, whatever, do not update further on. If you are running though iOS 11.1.2, 11.1.1, 11.1, 0.3, and so on, you are capable to jailbreak with Electra, or if you're running iOS 10.3.3, 64-bit, go ahead and download Goblin. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Pretty good news for those of you who are running on iOS 11.2.x, hoping for a jailbreak. It might come at some point. Coolstar claims that Electra might work in the future for iOS 11.2.x if a kernel exploit is released, which is quite cool. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.